Hey guys, just back here for another quick video. Uh, these taillights are available on extremeterrain.com. Obviously, there's no relationship between me and them, save for, you know, seller website, if you will, and customer. But these are, I believe the brand name is LED Light Bar. They're black housing smoked lens taillights. Uh, very easy plug and play, no need for resistors. They come with one. Since I am doing this video by myself, you know, I'll only be able to do a couple things like put on the, the hazards, turn signals, what have you, but they do look great. They illuminate fantastic. And they do blend really well with something else that I did up here. Put in a little strip of vinyl that gives you that LED side tint delete, amber delete. I forget what the specific term is that people like to use for it. <clears throat> when you're running your regular daytime running lights, uh, that's not illuminated. So it gives you a nice look where the housing's very much primarily black and that mirrored reflector stuff. Um, I've told you before, I've swapped all the bulbs out in there. Every bulb on the exterior of this vehicle has been LED for a while. <clears throat> Anyhow, cutting this on, and I'll put on the hazards real quick, just to give you an idea of how these rear blinkers look as opposed to whatever you have. So a lot of light, obviously coming off of an iPhone camera, not the best way to represent it, but you get a good idea. Uh, furthermore, uh, just adding a little tip for some people, if they've already done a swap like I had, I had these standard lights and I put LED bulbs in them, both front and rear. So that required me to put some resistors in. So these come with their own resistors that you can simply adhere or screw into the side of the kind of inner mounting surface, if you will, inside of that fender. If I applied those and ran the resistors, it was too much of a, uh, a blockage and they would work everything except for the turn signals. So I simply kept everything installed and taped off the included resistor and plug from the light and kept it in there so they work 100%. If you don't already have resistors, you can disregard that whole statement. But anyhow, if you're looking to illuminate the back a little better or just change the aesthetics, this is a solid way to go. And like I said, another quick thing, if you want to change the look of your headlights pretty dramatically, but pretty easily, you can find this. I can't remember. I think I got it on Etsy. But if you come in at an angle, you can see it's just a little strip of film. Applies very easily. It looks very nice from the side. Small modification, but very subtle and... Uh, Subtle yet pronounced, I guess, is what I'm going for. But anyhow, that's it, guys. Rock on.